Hello guys, I want to show you a progress of my overhead project. Um, I'm using for the overhead project uh, of course the Microsoft Flight Simulator 2004 as add-on the PMDG 737 and uh, for the output you see in the, in the picture a self-built uh, test board to get uh, the functions working from the overhead um, that the PMDG uses. The goal is to have a complete built overhead from open cockpits um, with all the st status displayed with uh, LEDs and this status is also written back to the flight simulator so that uh, when you toggle a switch the PMDG also toggles the switches in the overhead and um, the correct LED will light up or light off. Um, in front of you it's a hand-built uh, test circuit board. You see um, blue LEDs, red LEDs and on the top left corner uh, two green LEDs. Um, for short description of the board, uh, the left blue LED uh, mentions the maintenance button from the APU. When you start up the maintenance button will light up for uh, around two seconds in, in this uh, program now. In the middle of the three one is the APU ready indicator, um, generator one off and on, generator two off and on. These two lights are combined with the spare valve closed light and the engine valve closed light from the overhead of uh, PMDG. This one is the ground power available, engine one low pressure, engine two low pressure. Uh, right round door full open, left round door full open um, left anti ice and wing anti ice the right anti ice is not mentioned in the test board because it's the same function as the, the left anti ice of course and on top left corner you see the green uh, LEDs um, they represent now the, the left uh, window heat so we need to power up the device the uh, device uh, is powered from the um, open cockpits output uh, card as you see in the in the background now and the whole uh, card is powered with a computer power supply of uh, 350 watt to get the 5 volts correct uh, power supply for the card. The card is uh, connected via USB to the computer and on the computer is running a self-written SIOC uh, program. SIOC is the programming language uh, that you will get from uh, open cockpits with the cards. Okay, let's power up the device, uh, enable the battery button in the PMDG and something will light up, of course. We will see the um, Generator 1 available, generator 2 available, blue LEDs and on the top corner the low pressure engine 1, low pressure engine 2. So let's start with the basics feature. When you um, click a hardware button it will light up the front left uh, window heat. You can toggle it with lighting up, uh, connection shutting down and lighting up again. It's a toggle of an on off power switch. The next one will start, it's a mon of mon. So the APU maintenance light will show up for around 2 seconds and after 4 seconds the light uh, APU available will go on. Um, this is a little bit uh, different only for testing, it's 2 and 4 seconds and in reality it would be about 1 minute. So I push down the, the button, the 2 seconds blue LED goes on and after 4 seconds the generator APU uh, will go on. Also, if I disable the APU again, of course the generator, um, the LED will be disabled. So let's start up again. So we have all uh, lighted up. In the next sample, I will show you the wing anti ice. It's a blue one to enable, and this is all the same uh, technique as, as, as uh, the green LEDs. The next one is the left anti ice. You enable it. It shows up, and if you have figured out in PMDG when you disable it, it takes a couple of seconds to also um, uh, dim the the LED in the overhead down. So when I disable it again, button is pressed. After two seconds, the LED will go off. 
So now we start with the uh, ground power available if the parking brake is set. We are on the ground and no engine is running. We also have the ground power available. If I release the parking brake, of course, the LED will go off. When I now start the engines, um, two things will happen. The engine is up and running. Um, you will see the low pressure go off and the um, ramp foot or open will go on. So, so now we have an, an idle mode. That means uh, power uh, fuel switches are too off. The two LEDs are lighting up. I enable the fuel. So they will go off. Engine number one is uh, spooling up. It takes the time that uh, the PMDG will spool up. And take a short notice of this LED and this LED. That means when this go off, this LED will go on if the engine is running. So we have the engine running. We have no more low pressure on this one and the run the full open light will go on. If I now enable the generator one, uh, what will happen in PMDG, um, this light on the overhead will go off. So I took over the source and uh, programmed it into SIOC. Generator one is on and it's disabled. For the same one, generator one is off. It will go on and in the same way it will shut automatically down the APU generator and way around. If I start the engine number two, it's the same same thing. Um, red LED for low pressure will go off, uh, around the full open will go to on. Again it takes a time. Engine number two is running, low pressure off, APU, and the ramp door is set to on. Same thing here for the generator, I enable the generator in PMDG and the light goes off. Yeah, that's a short demonstration of the overhead, a uh, couple of things to do. Um, yeah, a nice feature I've already built in with, uh, with help of of guys from the website mycockpit.org uh, when the aircraft is in, in the air and no flaps are set the run doors will be closed so the two LEDs will go off but if a flap is set to a minimum of a stage one it will go on again if the flap is off it will go off so we'll show you this and use the, the slow mode in the flight simulator now to go up let's see here we are up Let's off, we are back on the ground, let's on. We are up and flying forward, no flaps are set. I set the flaps, the light goes on. I retract the flaps, light goes off. Okay, it was only the warning. So we are going now back to the ground. We are now on the ground. And again, engines are running. Parking brake is set, no. Ground power is available. I kill the engines now, take off the fuel, uh, generate the uh, uh, connection, then the ram door will close and the low pressure engine will go on. After a couple of uh, seconds, when it's below uh, in a uh, programmed value, so we have to switch now. And in a couple of seconds, also the ground power will come to on when the engine is full, uh, full to stop. Takes the time. Ground power is available. If I disable the uh, parking brake, ground power will go off. Now we can switch off the NTIs. The one is also already switched off, and also the wings. And in the last sequence, I can shut down the battery, and all lights uh, will go off. You see, I'm on the right way to get the whole PMDG overhead uh, coupled with an with a really uh, hardware overhead to get it working. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the 10 minutes uh, of talking and, and watching. 
and I will put some uh, videos up to YouTube again when the next uh, big processes are made.